I think the biggest mistake that leaders make is a question that I was thinking about for a while is how do you as a leader motivate your team to be just as hungry and passionate as you are and make them want to bust ass just as hard? I don't. I think it's crazy for CEOs and owners of things to expect their staff to bust their ass and be as hungry as them because when you own something, it's different. And so what I do is I try to motivate by meeting each and every one of them. The reason you've seen it, that I meet with all of them and do those meetings is I don't need that, I wanna buy the New York Jets. I need like seven billion fucking dollars. I work 18 hours a day. I wake up at 4.30 to be here today. I'm going back on the red eye. This was originally I was supposed to sleep here. Nope, I need, to, I need to get three meetings in tomorrow. I'm taking a fucking bullshit red eye tonight. Like I don't expect that from others because most people aren't insane to like, have this romantic point of view of like not being able to buy a Jets jersey for 20 bucks when he first came to America to owning the team. I've got to fuck you on me, got it? <laughs> I don't expect that for anybody else. What I want to know is what makes every one of them tick. Do you know how many people just want to make 200,000 a year and have great work-life balance? That's fucking unbelievable. That's fucking hitting the lot. Like if you are the kind of person that is obsessed with making $200,000 a year and be able to go to all the sporting events of your wonderful children, that's incredible balance. And if that's what you want, I want to empower you to do that. I think the biggest mistake that leaders make is they expect others to care about their shit as much as they do. That's fucking ludicrous. I wanna figure out what you care about and it's my job to put you in a position to succeed, to be hungry. And if that means seeing every fucking recital of your little Susie, I'm gonna fucking do that for you.